Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so we're gonna do a quick fix reset, soft reset on the LCD Starlink screen of your uh, LCD unit on your Subaru if you guys have these issues. And essentially, um, there are known glitches with the system but if you guys have uh, issues where everything works on the unit, but you just can't hear anything, you nothing comes uh, across as far as sound from your car. You can uh, scroll, you can choose, but you can't hear any sounds. Or if your Bluetooth on your phone does not connect, uh, there is a uh, reset that you guys can do to reset it back to factory settings. Just note that if you guys have this issue um, and you guys do the reset, it will not erase anything that is saved onto the unit. It is just a soft reset. Now, if you guys have Bluetooth issues, you guys definitely want to uh uh, reset the Bluetooth connection on your phone uh, that, that's connected to uh, your car and and uh, that should help to fix any Bluetooth issues that um, you might have um, if you guys also have other glitches associated with this uh, Starlink system and uh, their or other glitches besides not hearing anything from the sound system or Bluetooth issues. Uh, some people have uh, come across glitches where the screen uh, doesn't work at all. Um, this reset uh, is is uh, it, it's good. It works in that uh, it doesn't have anything to do you don't need to press anything on the touch screen especially if it's frozen you don't have to do any of that stuff okay so basically here's how that reset works so essentially you have the power button the tune button and the CD um, uh, eject button all three buttons are essentially physical buttons they're not uh, part of the LCD display so that if your LCD is frozen uh, You can still do this soft reset Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to press the power button the tune button and the uh, CD eject button you want to put your fingers uh, on all those uh, Buttons and then press it at the same time. You're gonna press it for 10 Seconds. What it's going to do after that is uh, it's going to reset. So it's going to turn off and it's going to reboot. And you'd want to make sure that you have all three buttons pressed during this whole entire process. So basically when the, uh, the Starlink uh, screen comes on, uh, essentially at that point, uh, your system should be 100% uh, reset and you can take your fingers off the buttons and then you're gonna get the screen uh, uh, where you uh, I forget what it asked you but you're gonna press agree on the next screen that comes up so what it's gonna do after that is it's gonna reload you might not uh, see anything on the screen if it takes a little bit too long you could press the power button to um, to uh, make that maybe you could press the power button but you should probably wait for it to reload and essentially what you're gonna have is a factory I think it's a soft it, it's, it's, it's a soft reset all right you're still gonna have your information um, uh, in the system so it wouldn't be actually a factory reset but it's gonna reset the system where um, all the functionalities or the settings for the functions are reset uh, but everything else is saved 
Now, if you have your own personal experiences with this, definitely leave a comment in the comment section if you know any other way to uh, do a reset on it, whether soft or a hard reset, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, it might help somebody else out. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and I uh, hope this has helped you guys out with your situation. All right, guys, take care.